All right, this is what I call a short shackle. Um, I've got a 51 inch tree stuff chainsaw lanyard here. And what I've done is I have girthed that end, you know, this removable end, I've girthed it onto my double action ISC here. And then in that back loop, I've just put a non-locking carabiner here. What's this? This is, uh, this is DMM. It can be anything. I think I've got some, I think I got some Petzels over here. Um, so what I call a short shackle, um, what I do every time, you know, if my saw, I'm not using my saw, it's clipped into this, um, utility loop, this hand loop here on my, on my harness. Uh, my old weaver had actual, uh, hard stitched hand loops, you know, and that's where I hung it. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing. Uh, I know a lot of guys are, you know, they'll have an open hook here, shem beaner, you know, one of the new open devices out here, and a lot of guys will hang their saws here. Um, but I, what I found is um, I was constantly getting hooked in the tree, in the canopy, even with a rubber band on the gate, you know, kind of like the Petzels, um, and the big Petzels and whatnot. The gate, the rubber band would still get moved or something. It'd get moved down or moved up or whatever, and I'd still end up getting snagged on the tree. So I just went to a locking. This is a William Ball, ball lock. Um, and I'm not using it for life support, I'm using it strictly for rigging. Um, but I like to hang my saw behind my hip, you know, so I'm not fighting it against my knee or against my lanyard or anything like that. And then, you know, it just hangs right here. Um, I actually learned this, you know, and then, um, you know, that clips to everything. Clips to any saw you want to run. I've, I've, you know, all the way up to the 372 up in the tree. Um, that double action ISC is going to fit. And then I learned this from uh, Casey Selner, who I was told may or may not have learned it from Todd Kramer. And uh, so yeah, that's what I roll.